Hey everybody, Mulkey Films here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a roof rack crossbar on a 2017 Dodge Journey. Okay, and here you can see the front cross rail is about an inch longer than the rear cross rail. Very important. Alright, so before we go climbing up on the roof, these are labeled, and you can see this one says front, and that's got an arrow pointing towards the front. So we're going to put the front one at the fourth marker position. And uh, you want to read the directions on these things. There's a little bit more to it than just uh, slapping them on and calling it good. Uh, you want to loosen them up a little bit because there's a bottom part on here that slides and that grips the rail. Okay, So that slides back and forth and then when it's on the rail you want to tighten that part up. And of course you want to make sure your front bar is on the front and that is facing forward. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, we have our front bar facing the front direction, and we're mounting it on the fourth position marked on the rail. Okay, I'm gonna slide it there. I'm gonna slide in this part that grips the rail. Sorry, I'm on a hill here, so it's a little tricky. Let's go ahead and loosen that up a little bit. I'm going to make sure our clamp is fully gripping the rail here. Okay, I'm just starting to tighten it up. Okay, not all the way tight, just a little bit tighter. Okay, and I'm going to tighten the other side before I finish tightening this all the way. All right. There's a little notch there. Oh, that's perfect. So that little clamp on the bottom goes into a notch on the bottom of the rail. I did not notice that on the other side. So I'm going to go back and check and make sure that our notch, that our clamp is in the notch. Oh, that's beautiful. Aha, we are just slightly off. So I'm going to loosen it up a little bit, move it over. There we go. Okay. I'm going to tighten that down. And our first one. First rail set. Okay. All right. We're in. There we go. Did you see it drop in place like that? That's good. Okay. Put our clamp in our notch. Here we go. So they are. Now I read the directions here and they look a little close together uh, but there they are mounted. So let's see what they say before I do this. So it says place front cross rail over the slide rails at the fourth position from the front of the vehicle. The line molded in arrowhead on cross rail stanchion to stamped in arrowhead on side rail. Okay. So we're in the fourth position, and there's actually, let me see if I can show you here. There's little notches in the rail on the underside. Uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. There. Okay. Right there. Right there. Not well if you can see that, sorry. But that is a notch right there and they go all the way down. So if you count them, one, two, three, four, first rail, and I came back and I skipped two, and put this rail back here, 
And we can actually go back one more even. Yeah, there's Alright, here we go. Here's the numbers in different positions. Now I've got my front rail mounted at position number four. My rear rail is actually mounted on the seventh position. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it the rest of the way down uh, and get it in position number eight. So that's four and seven. Okay, there they are, properly installed, position four and eight on 2017 Dodge Journey. That's what they look like from the front and the top. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's a little bit more to these than just putting them on the rails. Um, the clamps come in on the underside, and there's notches, and you got to line them up. And you also have to make sure that uh, your rails are the right ones and that uh, you put the front rail up front and the rear rail in the rear and also that they're facing frontward. Uh, they're labeled so you'll be able to figure it out but again pay attention to the notches which are on the underside let's see if we can find one here there's one okay notches in the underside of the rails and then make sure they're facing the right direction front one you want it for that's what Dodge recommends and I put the back one all the way back. This is position number eight. Anyways, this is Mulkey Films. This is how to install crossbars on a 2017 Dodge Journey. If you like what you see, click subscribe and help support the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, just uh, send me a note in the comment section below. Thanks.